Hi, my name is Mallory Dumond, and I'm a travel agent here locally in Goldsboro with Travel Nation. Today I'll be reading you the Not Very Merry Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Deason. In a festive ocean corner, fish were decking out the reef, hanging tinsel, bows, and lights in a holiday motif. Voices laughed. Voices sang, what a merry time of year, yet a certain gloomy fish wasn't feeling any cheer. Mr. Fish, with his list, wore a yuletide pout. I need presents for my friends, but my time is running out. For a gift should be big, and a gift should be bright, and a gift should be perfect, guaranteed to bring delight. And a gift should have meaning, plus a bit of bling zing. So I'll shop till I drop for each just right thing. At the first store he reached, Mr. Fish's eyes grew wide. The shelves were full of baubles. How could any fish decide? Shiny trinkets, handy gadgets, choices more and more galore. And yet nothing seemed quite right. Guess I'll try the shop next door. For a gift should be big, and a gift should be bright, and a gift should be perfect, guaranteed to bring delight. And a gift should have meaning, plus a bit of bling zing, so I'll shop till I drop for each just right thing. In a tizzy busy crowd, Shoppers everywhere beside him, Mr. Fish spied a banner for the season's hottest item. He hustle bustled over, but they just sold out. Mr. Fish's hopes wobbled in a bout of pout doubt. For a gift should be big, and a gift should be bright, and a gift should be perfect, guaranteed to bring delight. And a gift should have meaning, plus a bit of bling zing. So I'll shop till I drop for each just right thing. He reached the final store and was very first in line. But his shopping plans were dashed. We're closed, said the sign. There were no stores left. There was no place to go. Mr. Fish had nothing, not a single gift to show. Oh, a gift should be big, and a gift should be bright, and a gift should be perfect, guaranteed to bring delight. And a gift should have meaning, plus a bit of bling zing, but I've shopped till I've plopped, and I don't have a thing. Mr. Fish's face sank in a crestfallen frown. I'll have to miss the party. I've let all my friends down. Then a gentle voice jingled, Mr. Fish, not true. All you really need to bring is the one and only you. If you want to give some presents, it's not too late to start, for the best gifts of all come straight from the heart. With the help of Miss Shimmer, sharing laughter, fun, and grins, Mr. Fish made gifts with his very own fins. Later at the party, Mr. Fish passed them out, and he felt very merry. This is what today's all about. For his gifts were big, and his gifts were bright, and his gifts were perfect, and they all brought delight. And his gifts had meaning, plus a lot of bling zing, and each and his each and every friend loved their just right thing. All were happy, all were laughing, all were talking, all were singing, all were sharing in the season and the goodwill it was bringing. Mr. Fish joined his friends and he felt his heart lift. They had peace, joy, and love. What a very merry gift. The end. Now, as a part of our countdown to Christmas, I'd like to share a little something from our Advent calendar.
In Greece, very few gifts are given to each other. Instead, small gifts are given to hospitals and orphanages. With your family this year, consider giving a small gift to someone such as a kind note or help them with a task. Thank you for joining me tonight. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.